Episode 5 of Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion has spawned on Disney+. Plus. And as much as I did enjoy this episode, I thought it was great as an episode on its own, I don't know how they're going to end the show next week. I, just, I don't know. Because these MCU Disney Plus shows have a knack of just doing these rushed finales, starting out really strong, really, really strong, and then just going downwards. This show, I think, has maintained the quality all throughout the five episodes, though I don't know what's going to cook with that finale because... As much as they try setting it up, I, I still don't know what they could do to make a satisfying finale to this huge story. We get a lot of Gaia in this episode, and um, Nick Fury's wife Priscilla, and them working together. That whole sequence was awesome for the viewer to watch. For them, it was probably awful because the house was being destroyed and they were about to die. But for the actual viewer, it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. So, we also get a lot more of Sonya Fallsworth, which... I thought she was a fine addition to the show before this episode. She had a couple fun moments throughout this episode, but that ending is where she really where she really shines because we get her moment with Fury, Fury explaining why he's with the scrolls, the way he is with the scrolls, his wife is a scroll, explaining all his life story and all that. And the episode was called The Harvest. Um The Harvest is barely mentioned in the episode. I mean, I know it's a big part of Gravik's plan, but this episode alone, I, I don't know, the harvest was not really mentioned at all, but, you know, it's fine, it's just an episode title, it doesn't really matter, I love the action sequences, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, and Gravik is a literal menace, like, he is an awesome villain, awesome, phenomenally written villain, in the first 10 minutes, he kills his right hand, meh, wait, right hand scroll, that's better, in the first 10 minutes, pagan, like, th this menace is not messing around, we get Rhodey, and he's a scroll, and he's awesome, like awesome as in him being revealed as a scroll, which would have been something that the audience would have gone crazy over if this has happened a couple of years ago. But I guess people are, you know, fed up with Disney Plus shows. But guys, give this a chance. This is a great show, though I don't know how they're going to end everything off next episode.